Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikhil and today I will be giving you a deeper insight about the supply chain management of Boeing 787, the Dreamliner. The Boeing company, formerly known as the Pacific Aero Product Company, was founded in July 1916 which is almost about 103 years ago in Seattle, Washington. It is a multinational conglomerate and one of the leading aerospace industries and companies that manufactures civil and commercial aircrafts. It caters to both government for mainly military aircrafts and civil customers as well for passenger and freight aircrafts. Boeing has marveled in the production of passenger aircrafts and one of them is the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Boeing 787 was introduced by the company in 2003 in order to enhance the passenger comfort. Not only did Boeing come up with a new plan of manufacturing but also came up with an unconventional supply chain management system. Now let us understand in detail about the conventional as well as the contemporary supply chain management systems that are employed by the company. Now, with the help of my whiteboard friend, let us understand the conventional or the traditional supply chain that was used by Boeing in the earlier conventional days. The traditional supply chain was used in aircrafts like the Boeing 717 or the Boeing 73. Seven. This system had thousands of suppliers. They used to manufacture parts and send it to the Boeing assembly where Boeing used to act as the sole manufacturer of all the parts that were obtained from the thousands of suppliers and then produced a finished product and deliver it to customer. This was how the traditional supply chain looked like Boeing. Now that we have understood about the conventional supply chain of Boeing, let us switch on to the 787's unconventional supply chain that is employed by the company. Since the 787 Dreamliner has more than 2.3 million parts, Boeing cannot assemble all these by themselves. This is the unconventional supply chain system for a Boeing 787 based on a tiered and partnership structure. The tier 3 suppliers supply their inputs to the structure and system partners at tier 2. And the tier 2 helps in assembling the parts received from the tier 3 suppliers and then give it as an output to the tier 1, who are also the strategic partners and help in fabrication and assembly of the parts received from the former. After the pre-integration process is complete, it is delivered to the final assembly line located in Everett, Washington and then the final assembly starts, so the final product is assembled and the delivery is done to the customer as per the requirement. Now since we have seen both the supply chains, it would be apt to conclude that both have their advantages as well as disadvantages. The advantage of the traditional supply chain was that it gave Boeing an authority over almost everything. But the disadvantage on the other hand would be that it gave a liability that everything was supposed to be done by Boeing and gave it a lot of workload. When it comes to the contemporary supply chain, the Boeing 787 that employed, so it gives Boeing an opportunity to communicate with a lot of different tiers of suppliers that it used to interact with and the disadvantages would be that Boeing had limited control and accessibility over the production and pre-integration processes. So this was more or less about the supply chain management systems of Boeing in the conventional as well as the contemporary times. Hope this video has helped you and until next time, bye bye. Take care.